Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Uh, today we're making a horse. I haven't made these in probably three years or so. So I had to go back and look at the pictures and look at reference photos again so I could get the, the proportions right, get the jaw, get everything on there. So use my black sharpie fine point it's my favorite and we'll get started all right so I'm using a number size three blade got my beeswax nose in here. Drill press. So I just made the nose a little bit wider and the eye a little bit deeper and the nose a little bit deeper. Basically shade in all of this. Just want to make sure we have enough on there. Let that dry for a second. I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol. This is the stuff from the dollar store. I think it's 50%. And then just going to take my finger and run it flat. There we go. A little horsey. Let's get his feet cut off. Grab a pair of 
flat nose pliers like this. And if you get right up there next to the cut, Should just come right off. Now these are two different sizes. One's a little bit thicker than the other one. It's common with a lot of forks. So whenever we match up our fork tines, we want to make sure that we're matching up the right size because these will get turned into earrings or something else. So there's our horse. We're gonna sand his legs down. To our drum here. And this is a 180 grit drum that I'm using. Let's grab my bags here for our fork times. I always save my little necklace bags these guys are matched so much easier than going through them later and trying to find matches and pairing up okay, so there's that this guy looks okay I'm gonna take um, put them through the buffer rope So we have our horse. Now we're going to take and put a back on him. Use these little glue on hearts with the bales. Except I don't glue them on, I solder them on. Get our rosin core solder. This is made by Harris. Um, 331918. It's four ounce lead free. Um, we're going to take a piece of this, squish it flat. A little flat piece. Take my eight inch forceps here. This is a rare earth magnet that I actually got out of a hard drive, but you can use any magnet that will hold this down. What I do is I put my wood I need soldered where I need it to go. About right, right there. So I've got to reset this. Want that sitting flat.
getting ready to drop. Okay, so we got this guy on there. All right, and the last thing for us. So I'm gonna stamp it. If you just hit it once really hard, a lot of times you'll leave an impression on the outside here. So that's why I tap it a bunch. Just kind of getting all my angles on there. And I think it's April. So we're gonna do Four, twenty. So we got our logo and four twenty, the month it was born. And on the back side, you see the logo, and then the month and year. So, uh, also leave me a comment in the comment section if you'd like to see something made or if you have a challenge or something you'd like to see me try and do, uh, leave me a comment. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe. Also, click the bell and select all so you get all of our updated videos as soon as they come out.